If you've been struggling with difficult emotions during these difficult times, stay tuned to learn a new way to relate to raw, painful emotions we all experience. Let's do this. Hey, Dr. Les here with Mindfulness Channel, a channel focused on brain science, mindfulness, and acceptance and commitment therapy, providing you information and skills to help you transform your mind so you can transform your life to be the best you. Before I forget, check out some of the resources in the description section of this video if you're using a mobile phone, or the show more section if you're using a laptop or a computer for a great video called The Science of Racism and a resource on 10 things white people can do to continue to demand for racial justice. Also, if you're just wanting to practice the RAIN meditation, which we'll be doing in this video, then just click the timestamp in the description or show more section of this video, and you can bypass the talk stuff. I wish to take the time to say a few things about what's been going on lately in our nation, and then to teach you a four-step process on how to navigate difficult emotions during difficult times. Many of us are outraged about the deaths of Ahmed Arbery, George Floyd, Tony McDade, and Breonna Taylor. These incidents give rise to the evidence of continued injustices faced by African Americans and other people of color, including women of color, on a daily basis. Having experienced a great deal of racial discrimination throughout my life, I could not hold back my tears of frustration and joy to see protests in our communities, large cities, and many more across the world to stand up and demand for reform and accountability to those who continue to reinforce racism. While it's helpful to express our anger in a healthy manner, it can be quite destructive and draining to our minds and bodies if we don't have the skills or ways to throttle down our emotions to learn to pace ourselves as we continue to demand for justice. Now the RAIN meditation helps us navigate those intense, dense, difficult emotions we experience during these difficult times. The RAIN meditation helps us pause and not become our emotions by training us to skillfully move through a four-step process to help us navigate those messy things called emotions. Now the RAIN acronym stands for Recognize, Acknowledge, Investigate, and Nurture. When we're in the midst of difficult and strong emotions, the practice is to naturally push those uncomfortable feelings, use distraction, or even use avoidance. In the RAIN meditation, we learn to develop a new relationship with those uncomfortable feelings. Let's begin. Wherever you are, sit up in a comfortable yet dignified position. Uncross your legs, placing your hands on your lap. Now take three full, gentle breaths in, pausing at the top. And as you breathe out through your pursed lips, allow your shoulders to just dip. And as you roll into your second breath, if you're holding on to tension, just go ahead and soften that with that second breath. And by now, you're probably on your third breath. If you've not already closed your eyes, allow yourself to do so. If not, leave them half closed with a soft gaze about three or four feet in front of you. Now notice your feet on the ground. Notice the seat that cradles you. And by now you would have noticed that your body's breathing. Perhaps you notice the breath at the nose. And if you do, quietly whisper in as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, whisper out quietly to yourself. If you feel the breath at the belly, make a soft mental note of belly rising as you breathe in. 
and belly falling as your belly breathes out. Just using these soft mental notes to help ground yourself in the present moment. Now bring to mind a difficult emotion you recently struggled with. Perhaps it was over a disagreement, an injustice done to you or to another. Or perhaps the stresses you've been experiencing for the past few weeks. Whatever the difficulty that you're experiencing, bring that to mind now. As you make full contact with this difficult feeling or memory, recognize what's happening. Notice if you feel a shift in your mood or if you notice any tension in your body. Give it a simple name of what's just showing up. Sadness, confusion, stress, anger. Or if you prefer, simply say, knowing there's a difficult emotion right now. And as you continue to recognize the emotion that's showing up, shift into the second phase of just allowing the emotion to just be there as it is. Just making room for whatever is showing up, not trying to crush it or push it away, or to distract yourself. Just let that feeling be there. It's as if that feeling is like a butterfly that landed in the palm of your hands. Instead of trying to crush it or to shoo it away, just let it be there. Practice allowing the motions to be there. And you could say these phrases. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Or if you prefer, you could say, this too shall pass. And allowing the feeling to just be there. You could also repeat these phrases. Come if you will, stay if you will, leave if you will. Come if you will, stay if you will, leave if you will. Continue to allow that feeling to just be there as it is. As we move into the third phase of investigating of what's showing up, notice where you feel this emotion in your body. Where are you holding on to this emotion in your body? Scanning your body from head to toe, noticing where this emotional charge is being held. Do so with a sense of openness, non-judgment, kindness, and curiosity. The 
practice is not to get caught up in the storylines of your mind. Just notice where all this emotion is housed right now. See, emotions are like a weather pattern. They come, they go. Sometimes they stay for a while. Yet eventually the weather moves on. In this phase, it might be helpful for you to turn your palms facing up. To help accept what is there as you continue to investigate with great curiosity, openness, non-judgment, and with a sense of gentleness. It might help you to say, be the watcher, or say, just notice, just notice. Just notice as if you are the big blue sky, just watching what is below you as the weather passes through. As we move on to the last phase, placing both hands on your chest to offer yourself these words, saying to yourself, I'm here for you. I am here for you. I am here for you. Keeping your hands on your chest, connect with your breath. Feel the cool air entering your nose and the warm air leaving your softly pursed lips. There's nothing else for you to do. Just this breath in, just this breath out. Sense what it is that you need right now from yourself. Perhaps bring up an image of someone who loves and cares about you. That could be a spiritual sense, a person who's been there for you, or even a loving pet. Imagine receiving the warmest hug from them. Then offer that love and caring inward with each in-breath and releasing what no longer serves you with each outgoing breath. Bathing and glowing in light and love. Bathing yourself in compassion and peace. Now quietly repeat the following phrases to yourself. May I be healthy and wise. May I feel safe and loved. May I live with ease and free of suffering. May I be healthy and wise. May I feel safe and loved. And may I live with ease and free of suffering. May I be healthy and wise. May I feel safe and loved. May I live with ease and free of suffering.
as we come to a close now, notice the spaciousness within you. This ends the meditation. May the sense of spaciousness be with you all day long. The goal of the RAIN meditation is to help us make contact with those difficult emotions versus trying to push them away or use some sort of distraction. Because when we push strong emotions away, it sends a message to the brain and to the body that we're under attack. It winds up our nervous system, it mobilizes our stress response, and that can impact our sleep, create bodily pain, and even create chronic irritability. Even worse, it can amplify pre-existing mental and physical conditions. So learning to pause, observe, and engage in self-compassion when we're experiencing difficult emotions, well, that can help us build something called resiliency. And in doing so, we rebuild trust with our nervous system. Here's your pro tip. When you notice a mood shift or tension in your body, use this meditation. It'll help you develop a new way of transforming your relationship with difficult emotions and it retrains your brain. Before you go, don't forget to like this video, share this video with someone you care about, and if you've not done so already, subscribe to this channel. Would love to hear from you, so drop me a comment or two below about systemic racism, your thoughts about it, and also your experience in doing the RAIN meditation. Until then, it's a pleasure serving you. I'll catch you at the next moment.